Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. When we last left off, well, we unlocked a spiffy shotgun, if I remember correctly, and we uh, finally saved all of the towns, which was rather, rather nice. Uh, it has been a little while since I played the game, so uh, I think that is what we did in the last episode. Anywho, we now have some choices, some juicy choices. We can go and try and hunt the mythical creature, the... Oh yeah, we're in Armadillo, aren't we? Hmm. Hmm. We need to get down here. Let's let's travel. And of course we're in Armadillo, because if I remember correctly, we had to come back here and uh, retake it from the undead, which uh, we did so very uh, very ferociously. In fact, if I remember correctly, ah bollocks! Didn't mean to save the game. It matters not. If I remember correctly, we actually died a couple of times. Uh, we are 71% through the game, which is rather spiffy. I think I'm going to miss this game quite significantly, actually, when uh, when we're done with it, which is a bit, of a, a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's see. Where's that? I wish I knew where the names... I do have my map here, but unfortunately, as I said, my map is so low resolution... Um, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, my map is so low resolution you can't actually read. Um, yeah, we're here. Okay. So we actually want to go to... I guess I could... See, the thing is, I wanted this map. This map here. Um, but I could only find it in bits, and I don't really want to print out like a thousand uh, different parts and stitch like a giant map together. But uh, that was basically the choice, right? Let's go. You know what? Let's just let's just ride over there. By the time we've gone in and buggered about and whatnot, also my friend uh, doesn't use his control pad anymore, so he's given me his one, which is. Uh, an interesting control pad, and it also had the play and charge kit with it as well. Um, it's slightly worn, but that's okay. In fact, the play and charge kit was registering fully charged earlier. It's now moaning at me that it's nearly dead. Hmm. So maybe we need to go here. So maybe, just maybe, I will invest in a new one after all. But I will have a think about that. They do actually have quite a nice... Uh, Gears of War control pad for sale uh, down in my local uh, CEX, which if you're not familiar with CEX, it's like a big electrical store of sorts where you can um, sell anything. They will pretty much buy anything electronic or uh, gaming or film wise, um, DVDs, movies, that kind of stuff. Uh, but they've got a limited edition Gears of War 360 control pad, but it does look quite worn. And this play and charge pack is definitely moaning at me already. So that's a little bit awkward. I think I might just have to do it. You see, the thing is with my control pads, I take extremely good care of my control pads. I never used to when I was a kid. I used to throw them around all over the place. Uh, I went through so many original Xbox control pads because um, they would get trapped under the corner of the bed and, and just snapped and broken. I don't even know how I did it, if I'm honest. You know, I went through so many of them. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Um, but these days, I take extremely good uh, care of my control pads. They're all on their charge docks, where possible. Um, I put skins on all of them. I put thumb uh, thumb grips over the thumbsticks, so they're all, all protected and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, a lot of people just really abuse them. And uh, that's why they stop working. Trust me, I know from experience. And the thing is, like a control pad used to be like fairly cheap. Well, I say cheap, isn't that's not true. They were they were always like forty pounds, or say thirty pounds uh, back in the day. Um, but these days, like a control pad is like sixty, uh, sometimes seventy pounds. Like they're more expensive than games. Like when did that happen? Seriously. But then uh, I suppose the profit they make on them is, is, is so so large you know but i digress anyway we are we are adventuring beyond the moon 
Now, everybody moans, actually. Let's go back to control pads for a minute. Everyone moans that since PlayStation 3... Oh. Oh, we're here. Yeah. Since the PlayStation 3... Now, are we going to get warned? Sony has always had built-in batteries, and everybody complains... Um, that the Xbox pads should have built-in batteries as well. Uh, I 100% disagree. Built-in lithium-ion batteries are a terrible idea. Convenient, yes. Yes, convenient. But when those batteries die, and they will, because they're lithium-ion batteries, they uh, don't have the greatest shelf life in the world, uh, you're kind of fucked. Or you have to take your control pad apart. Um, and then fiddle with it for ages uh, and replace the battery yourself which yes okay admittedly that is actually quite easy to do but you know what's even easier do you know what's really easy taking the cover off the control pad and putting in two fresh batteries I mean that's easy that's better than going at your control pad with a screwdriver and voiding your warranty but there we go what do I know I'm just a dumb consumer uh, that, coupled with the fact that the battery life on the PlayStation 4 controller, um, you know, just straight up fucking sucks. It, the thing is basically useless. Uh, I remember when I got my launch PlayStation 4, I think the battery on the control pad was lasting like four hours. Uh, luckily, I got two control pads on mine. But yeah, absolutely ridiculous. The new control pads uh, that you can get now, the new DualShock 4s, their batteries last slightly longer. I think it's like an extra half an hour or something, or maybe an extra hour. But, uh, yeah, six hours of game time. I mean, you know, in all fairness, that lasts me just fine. Because I very rarely have time these days to play more than a couple of hours. But when I'm on holiday and stuff like that, they really don't last for shit. Xbox 360 control pad or uh, Xbox One control pad? Ooh. Last fucking ages. Literally no worries at all. <gasps> is that is that what we're looking for? Is that our friend? Now, is this thing undead? It is! There we go. Cheaper thingy. Okay. You got the Lemat revolver. And the Evans repeater. Okay, that was massively easier than I thought it was gonna be. Cheaper cover teeth. The Matt Revolver. So what's so good about that? And the Evans Repeater. Oh wow, look at the ammo capacity on that thing. That is huge. Well, I'll have a... Oh! And that holds nine rounds as well. Let's check out our weapons. So compare it to... So the Cattleman revolver there, yeah, it is actually significantly better. In everything apart from reload speed. Okay, cool. And the Evans repeater is a good chunk better at most things as well. Not the best rifle, by the look of things, but I think it's probably the best uh, repeater, which is quite nice. Henry Evans, that's what we want, the Evans. That is a massive ammo capacity. I'm a fan. Alright, well, that Chupacabra, I'm going to be honest, guys, I, I, I didn't plan for this. I thought it was going to take me about 7,000 years to find this thing, but uh, I guess not. I also thought it was going to put up a bit of a fight. Um, okay, that was, wow, guys, that was uh, <clears throat> anticlimactic, I guess. 75% through the game. Uh, right, well, okay, let's have a little look. So the only challenge we've got left, kill one of each of the four types of undead in one dead eye meter. Yes, that's going to be a pain. Although, I, I don't know, I have a feeling that's not going to be as much of a pain um, as I think think it is. I guess we will find out. Anyway, 
Where were the missing people? The missing people were here. Let's knock that off. Let's just get that done. Because that's going to be a bit of a bull lick. But uh, it's going to be one of those things that once it's done, it's done. Um, and there's only eight of them left. Which sounds like a lot, but, it, you know, it kind of really isn't as well. Eight people to save. And we get ammo and whatnot for it, even though the ammo that we get for it is completely and totally pointless at this point. Well, maybe not pointless, but it's not that great. We've got so much ammo now. Um, and, of course, our Tomahawk, you know, makes short work of, oh, I don't know, every fucking thing. So, there's that. We actually have some fairly decent equipment now. Uh, we're getting to the point where I'm, I'm fairly comfortable. You know, we've got more weapons than God. Certainly equal to the amount of weapons Rambo has, anyway. Uh, we've got ammo coming out of our ass. I can't believe the Chupacabra. I mean, it didn't even fight well. I was going to say it didn't even fight back. It didn't, you know, really have a chance if, if we're going to be picky about this. Um... We certainly had the poor blighter at a disadvantage, you know. Not that I'm going to complain about that. Uh, I mean, you know, what, six shotgun shells to the to the arsehole is uh, certainly nothing to be sniffed at. I was also not sure whether it's going to be classed as an undead creature, so uh, well, we're going to have to shoot it in the head, but uh, well, I guess not. I guess not. So... Missing people. Uh, now we know, uh, or should I say I know, as well as you guys do, this is just filler content. Really. But uh, we are going for that 100% completion, damn it. And I'm fairly competent. Confident? Competent? I would say I'm fairly competent. Uh, yes, I would agree with myself there. Yes, I am, I'm fairly competent. Not an expert. Um, not even great. But uh, fairly competent. I like that. But I'm fairly confident it won't take us too long. Although I do get the feeling that saving... Oh yeah, this is actually where we need to be for that quest. You know, I'm probably going to try and do this off camera. After this video, actually. Right, in one dead eye meter. Right, we've got a runner, we've got a spitter, we've got normals. The only thing we don't have is a big fat bugger. Uh, oh, actually, that guy there, I believe, is considered a big fat bugger. You know, maybe that's uh, politic politically incorrect, but uh, I don't really care, to be honest. Right, you're done. I think you're done anyway. You're done. You, you normie bastard, you're going to be done. And you, come on, come on, come on. Ah, not quite. I don't think we quite got that in there. Damn, no we didn't. That's unfortunate. That is seriously unfortunate. We need you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mistakes have certainly been made. That's fine. Dead eye meter restores so slowly, but I suppose we could just cheat. It's not really a cheat. Snake oil, what does that do? It refills the dead eye meter. Go on, use it. Oh, it completely refills the dead eye meter. Very nice. Alright, do we have everything here we need? Oh, actually, I'm kind of doing this the wrong way. I think. If I remember correctly, rolling block, explosive rifle is probably the easiest way to do this. But the only problem is, you need to kind of have, yeah, you need to have, kind of have everybody grouped together, which is the challenge. Oh, I'm dead. Which, uh, well, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's a little bit awkward. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. No mad. Not even mad. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if we start inside, we will just um, do some missing people. Uh, but we didn't start inside. We started outside, which means we can have another go at this. I'm probably driving people mad trying to get this achievement, but uh, 
You know, it's got to be done. Okay, so we've got the spitters. We've got a couple of spitters here, which is quite nice. But we don't have the big guys, do we? Yeah, I think there is a big guy there. Uh, nope. Nope, that was no good. That was no good. Uh, buddy, can you not bite me in the ass, please? I would appreciate it greatly if you just surrender your bodies to me. You know, there's not a lot to ask. Alright, so we've got spitters, we've got a creepy runny guy that has flob all over his back. Ah, no, 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 yeah, the, the big, yeah, that's the big guy. Okay, they are different. And they actually seem to be the rarest spawn here as well. Um, Where's that big guy gone? There he is, there he is. Okay, uh, there's no spitter there though. God damn it. Right, back over here guys, come on, this way, this way. No, 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 no. Where's the big chap? Big chap's all the way over there. God damn it, sir. You're really hampering me here. Bring your big fat ass over here. And... Oof. Didn't work. Look, we're on to the right... idea here. I think. It's just... It's just the execution is poor. Yeah, and the execution is poor on my part. Yeah, I've got no one to blame but my myself here. <sighs> I have interest. What's the charge pack saying? Uh, how much battery do we have? Yeah, half. That's not good considering it was registering. Fully charged. Ooh, 17 minutes and 4 seconds ago. Uh, that's concerning, actually. Right, so it's just getting the big guys. There's a big guy. Right, guys, come over here. Okay? Just come over here. Look, this isn't, you're not being very sporting with this. You know? Ah, there you go. Right, everybody is here. The whole clan. Really? You stupid lummox. Uh oh. Oh god. Right, okay, so we've just got to mob them together. A little bit like that. And then. No, that's not quite good enough. Ah, shit. I guess I could have just shot anyway, but I don't know how uh, how efficient that would have been. Fired my six shots into the wind, and by six shots I mean one shot. Hey, I never said I was good at maths. All right, get off my case. God damn it! Everybody's so judgmental these days. Right, let's try this again. Right, so we got the big guy. At least I th yeah, we definitely got the big guy. Okay, we just need to get the runny guys. We have no runny guys. We have a runny guy, I think. I think that's a runny guy. Oh god, I think we've got a little bit of everything here. Who knows at this point? Right. Okay. No good. That was no good. Damn it. I mean, what else are we ever going to use this rifle for? Right, let's just thin the herd. Wait for them all to respawn. We'll keep that chap. You can go away. Oh, God. Hello. 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 Ah, spitter. We just need a fatty. Ha! Ah, ask and you shall receive. Now we just need to get Sir Fatopotamus over here. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, Mr. Runner, that's fine. Where's Fatty? Fatty's making his way over incredibly slowly. He's very inconsiderate of the chat, to be honest. Alright, that'll do. Come on, come on, Mount Bellyache. Oh, God, so close. And yet, so far, run, run. Jesus, I think we now have a load in our pants, but it's okay. It's okay. Wow. There are so many targets. The FPS is just tanking. How was that? Was that seriously no good? I mean, honestly. Right, thin the herd. Get rid of the normies. We've got a spitter and we got a fatty. We've got a runner. 
Okay, um... Was that seriously not it? Was that not a fat guy then? I'm confused. Which is fairly standard. I spend most of my days in a state of confusion. All right, you're not a fat guy. I keep thinking you are, but you're not. Uh, okay. No, you're... N yeah, there we go. Reconnect control pad. Well... So much for those charge packs. You know, I actually um, stopped buying those charge packs at one point because I was going through so many of them. They were only lasting about four months or so. They're really not that great. I mean, they are. They're fantastic when they work. But they, they never last long. And my, my mate as well, he had one. <laughs> and uh, his control pad was permanently connected. Okay. I think what I'm going to do here, guys, we're going to go save a missing person. I'm going to run around off camera. I'm going to get some health. Uh, get some health. Get some uh, potions. Bait potions. And then we're going to try... I might just do that off camera, actually. Because I don't really want to bore you guys for a thousand hours. Whilst I vainly struggle to uh, complete this task. Yeah, man. There we go. In all fairness, there's probably a fair few ways we could do that one, but I think using the explosive rifle... Um, ah, yeah, I was going to say, can you even use the explosive rifle? I mean, I can't see why not. It doesn't, it doesn't say you have to use anything specific. It just says that you have to kill them all in one dead eye meter. So, you know. Right, let's go. I love how rigid that paper is. I mean, that is the, the strongest parchment I've ever seen. I guess they don't make paper like they used to. Okay. This is going to be uncomfortable, isn't it? Well... I don't really want to go down that way if I can help it. Is that really the only way down? Is there not a ladder here? No. No. Why would they want it to be that convenient? Have to wait about seven years for the camera to catch up with us. There we go. Right. Up and over. There we go. Now. Up here. I think they should just unbar the doors for me. Ooh, is that a Gatling gun? There's a Gatling gun. Can we use... No, we can't use Deadeye. Sadly. That is an awful um, viewing angle. On the Gatling gun here. Really don't get your money's worth. See, if we could use the Deadeye with the Gatling gun, and we could line enough of them up, then maybe, just maybe... We could have had a chance, but uh, sadly, no. Look at that guy. He doesn't give a shit. He, no shit's given whatsoever. Okay. Getting out of here is a pain. Yeah, so we've got to climb up here. I said climb up there, John. Don't just jump on the spot like a dickhead. Honestly. Okay. Well... It looks like a few of them. Oh, let's pave the way. There we go. That's what we that's what we like to see. Body bits. Um, no, we don't want to use the cannon. We want to go down the... St God damn it. One does not simply get a turn with a cannon and pass it up. I see. Well, I... I Guess the pressure was too much for dear old John. That is also... Oh, that's, that actually helps us. That's quite poor design, I must admit, on the old cannon. We didn't actually shoot ourselves, guys. What, what happened was... Uh, that was a misfire. Primitive weapons back then, you see. Yes, yes, yes. No fault of my own there. <laughs> Me? I mean, no fault of John. There. I mean, we. I don't make mistakes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Never. No, that was John's um, 
It would have been John's fault. So, uh, yes. Yes, maybe he didn't give uh, give enough uh, uh, length on the fuse. Yes. You're nearing the missing person's last known location. Good. Here we are. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, my friend. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, pal. Please. What the cheese and biscuits? Oh, God. This is... Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, bud, we are the rescue. I know. I wouldn't believe it either. Okay. I don't need to look at the missing person. I can see the person. We've got this, buddy. We've got this. Uh, can you stop shooting enemies unless you're going to at least try and shoot them in the head? Uh, buddy, buddy, you've, you've, you've actually got one, like, hitting you in the face. I don't know if you've noticed. You know, situ ooh, situational awareness, my friend. Situational awareness is the name of the game. Okay, these are going to be fairly troubling times, aren't they? Right, there we go. Come on, horsey. Now, are you going to be able to get on death? Uh, death, come on, buddy. Oh, God. Uh, love, no, thank you. I appreciate the offer, but uh, I'm not interested. I'm taken, goddammit. Uh, buddy. Technically, my missus is a zombie. Not in real life, of course. That'd be weird. But uh, in the game. We're in a zombie misses, I don't know. That could have its advantages. Probably gonna get stick for that, but uh Well I'll deny it. There we go. Right, get on death, my friend. Death! Stop! 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 There we go. Right, that was touch and go there for a minute, my friends, but uh I think we pulled that off. But we're not out of the woods yet. Oh no. We have to get this fool back. I can't hear what you're saying, but I have no idea what you're saying. To be fair, I don't really care what you're saying either, so, you know, there's that. He's literally waffling on, and I have, I, I have no idea what he's saying. I can hear the horses, I can hear pretty much everything, but he is just uh, drowned out. I wouldn't mind if he was saying something interesting. But then I guess that's what me, him and I have in, in common. We, we spend our lives spouting shit. Although I like to think at least somebody uh, is, is vaguely interested in what I'm saying. Oh, serious? Uh, buddy, back on the horse. We still have a chance to bulls this up. Back on the horse, bud. Today would be fantastic. Good boy. Right, apparently we've got to go around the other side. I didn't know there was another side to this place, but then it makes sense, I suppose. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, Pinky, do you mind? That's all right, Pinky, don't worry about it. You don't have to jump over that fence. It's fine. I will find a way. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder... This might actually be a better way to come, perhaps. Uh, can we get out, please? Can we? Uh, really? Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. And it's that bug again where he's put his weapon away. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. There is no God. Oh, no. Go for it, Pinky. Go for it. If these humans could stop shooting me, I would be quite happy. Yep. The humans... Ah, oh, the missing person is dead. I almost guarantee he was killed by those humans. <sighs> well, that was rather frustrating. Yep, we're going to restart near town. That was frustrating. Right, guys, what I'm going to do, off camera, I'm going to try and get this damn achievement. Um, hopefully, I will record it. Uh, well, I will technically record it and possibly poke it into the uh, the end of this episode.
or the beginning of the next episode. You'll see it either way. Yes, there we go. My brain is not functioning very well today. You may have been able to tell, or maybe you can't tell. Maybe this is just me normally. Hmm. Getting old, that's my excuse. Be 32 soon. Jesus. I never thought I'd live this long. Anyway, till next time, guys. Till next time.